okay so today we will be touching upon uh, on page right uh, under seo there is something called on page seo so we will be talking about on page seo and on page seo is basically optimizing the website itself right so seo there are two things on page and off page on page is on the website so basically you have to optimize the website itself right and uh, off page is of course uh, it is outside i mean out of scope right so you are doing your uh, seo optimization outside of your website so on on, on page right so there are uh, basically you have to fix the website itself so I, right so first step is doing a audit of the website so there are some few tools right so most popular being seo site checker all of you guys can see, see my screen as well right so just let's just go there i'm just directly starting you with the step one site audit so any seo that you are doing first step is doing a site audit I'm just taking one of my clients example and just typing and start in. Just as an example. So this is uh, one of my clients with whom I've been working. So what happens is this site gives you the complete site audit, SEO audit of the website, of any particular uh, website that you are going to work on. So step one for anything uh, under on page SEO will be to do the site audit. Someone has joined. Yes, 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 it is getting recorded. Okay. So see, I mean, this is a recent client of mine. So I've been working on it and there are, I mean, a little bit of SEO and all is done. So 81% is what the score is so basically you start a uh, you do a audit first step so this is one website there are few more websites but uh, this is a free one so you can go i mean just google it free site audit you will find several right so here you can see like uh, what needs to be fixed everything the complete site audit will be shown so meta title, meta description, I will be coming to those points. So anyways, as we go on, I will show. So you see this title, right? Every website and every web page has a title. So what is a title? So I'm just going here. So you see the mouse cursor. So that is a title, Amstar Technologies, IT Services Company. So basically, how do you find it? Just right click on any website, click view page source. Right? So what did I do? Right click view page source. Here, see this. This is the title and this is the description. So what happens is Google will index your page and drive, I mean, considers the keywords and everything used in your primarily the title and the description. So title will come here. So this mouse cursor I put, right? So you guys can see that at Amster Technologies, IT Services Company, etc. So the same title will be coming there and description you will be putting in the back end so most of these sites are uh, uh, this is a wordpress site so wordpress if you log in from the back end right so you will be able to change it so i mean that's more of a technical thing so that uh, i can show it to you at a later stage right so once you have to do that for every page of a website so each and individual pages you have to go into like I have to go here. Every page will have its own title and description. Like for example, I'm going here, right? So it has, see, it has a separate title, IBM training courses, Amster technologies. And, and again, I see the view page. So I'm just showing where the title and description will be at. 
right so see this is the title and this is the description so now the question is so what is the use i mean what is a real uh, uh, example right so i go to uh, see this uh, these days offer something called ibm gtr like uh, that is guaranteed to run courses so they are into training so ibm guaranteed to run courses and i have this there is a spelling mistake there but see on the title i have ibm gtr courses and let me view the page source page source description i have i amster ibm gtr schedule for popular ibm training courses blah 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 so now i go to google and type ibm gtr which is the first link that is coming right so ibm gtr so this company for this keyword it is ranking in number one and same thing like see social media activities right so they are on facebook so all this they are ranking. i mean they are ranking same same they have one more uh, product uh, offering called ibm spvc courses right self-paced virtual courses so ibm spvc training is the title and description i have put i go to google type ibm spvc see first of course because it's ibm product so ibm 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 all are ibm and uh, as soon as ibm is done which company comes this one right so that is what is number one step in on page seo so you have to optimize a website detail completely right with the content i mean with every page should have uh, uh, that is where i mean so every page will have its own title every page will have its own description meta description right and uh, anyways coming to the site audit because site audit is the most important thing once we do the site audit we go ahead and fix the things right so it gives google research results how they are so keywords right so keywords is number two so you have to refer to approach any uh, seo activity for a website you have to first go with their competitors right so you have to list out the competitor competitor websites so let me just kind of i don't know i can just type it here as well you can just note it down as we go ahead right so competitors list of competitor websites is one thing and get the keywords keyword ideas keyword ideas from competitor websites right and one more is uh, like google uh, okay and then uh, you have to do something called uh, google analytics like you set up google analytics account so i i mean i have already set up for a client of mine i'm just showing you real time how i once you set up google analytics right so how it looks so you see this i can see the traffic everything so basically here we set the google analytics code onto the website this is uh, for a, this is another client of mine excuse me so i have set up a google analytics uh, code so basically what happens is uh, to, once i log in basically it's the url is analytics.google.com i'm showing you real time examples directly so that uh, you have a better uh, idea and uh, now that it is already set up so it is showing all the data so basically step i mean once you do the site audit right you go ahead type analytics.google.com and set up a google analytics account for a client so how do we set up you ask so you log in i mean uh, if i open a new incognito tab go to analytics.google.com so here what happens you have to tell the client or the company if they were already have i mean because see if you are going getting into a job joining a job right 
so most of the times the company will already will have a analytics account but for you to know how to create one right so usually the i companies will have a gmail account they have to create a gmail account or google suite account so basically you have to sign in means create a, create create account so or they have a gmail id you just use one of their gmail id press next and then you have you will have created it i don't know uh, because my, all my uh, ids uh, are created so uh, you can just ask the customer or client or the company to give their gmail id and then you create one account then as soon as your account work, create what happens you will get a home this is how you will get so you create right so here i have put up the website uh, details so you have to basically enter the details as soon as you create uh, let me see if i can pull that out uh, somewhere okay. okay some steps are created just give me a moment Okay, I have this document correct. Put that I found it. Okay, yeah, this is better. So see, this is nicely explained here. So as soon as you create a new account, login with a Gmail account. See, this is what it will show. Then. You have to click on something called admin here okay where i have submitted just i mean the steps anyways i can always uh, share you this document so that you know how to create a google analytics account then click on so as once you click on admin you will get these options right so you have to click on create account and to create a property okay under create account you have to click account user management i mean basically these steps so what happens uh, you have uh, uh, you get the setup assistant etc etc all this stuff so once you submit right so google analytics will give you a code like this anyway this document i will share it with you guys uh, you will know how to do it so then once you get once you follow these steps you will get a Google Analytics tag code. That code has to be put on the website. On the website backend. So either the client can do it or uh, the tech person can do it, whoever has developed their website. Because you guys are not going to be web developers or something, right? So you create this tag and give it to the website uh, person or whoever has done the website and they are good to go. Okay, so this I will share it to you how to create Google Analytics account. So once so the, 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 it is the code is put in the website, then Google starts tracking the traffic to your website. So it will show, okay, this is how many users, sessions, bounce rate, session duration and everything. And you can get real time. I mean, here you will get all kind of uh, information. Uh, here last week how many users have come if I have to track or we want to check last month itself I mean month of June for example 31 to first I will just apply so it will show okay so 155 users plus or whatever every session I want to do hourly daily weekly monthly so it basically you get the these information, these informations, and then you can go. I mean, see, it gives you also from which country most people have visited. It's a, this one, this client is US based. So bulk of the traffic is obviously from US. So it shows city wise. Basically, you get, I mean, this client is again there in New York. So bulk of the traffic is there. So this stuff, and then of course, you get the demographics, I mean, people like age, etc., and all that. So all this information once you set up the analytics code right so you will be generating so go setting up a google analytics code is number two 
after you do the site audit. So uh, number two, uh, yeah, site audit, setting up code, and yeah, have these titles, meta description, as I said. So titles and descriptions are what like every page you should have a title and a description. That is compulsory. Every page should have, right? So this audit will actually show up what are all the issues of the on on page for a website. So basically you create a get a site audit done and step by step you can just start fixing it. Right. So you have uh, something called uh, uh, yeah image alt test. Right. So every image it's not been done but has to be done. So. I don't know where are the images. So, for example, this image is there, right? I'm just opening the image in new tab, right? So, image should be named properly. Okay, that is one thing. And in the back end itself, every image should do, there should be a alt text created for an image. Okay, so that comes under uh, from the website back and word from WordPress we will have to do so that I will uh, uh, probably share it with you later more from a it's more of a technical thing right so get the audit done do the on page uh, fixes basically HTML all this anyways so these are all tick most of the tech stuff site loading speed test is something like uh, they, actually here in this site if you do right how to fix also they will show so you, you just need to follow these steps. So basically everything like complete site audit you will find from this website. And so everything like so some test it has failed, how to fix. See, they will very, very specifically say replace the so and so at some characters, replace text with images, etc. Okay. So yeah, typically it should be more than seventy-five percent, right? Seventy-five hundred. No, I mean, I mean even bigger companies or uh, business sites, they won't get hundred to hundred, right? So you should aim for at least seventy-five percent of the SEO score, okay? And uh, analytics is done. Google Analytics, uh, okay. Meta tags is done, and your uh, yeah, this title and descriptions is done, okay, and uh, yeah. So then, I mean, I mean, see, these are the basic stuff. So you will have to, I mean, this itself will take quite a few time. And one more thing, I think uh, if I go for AdWords, same how you create a analytics account you have to create some uh, google adwords account okay so there you will get some keyword ideas and just see if i can log into any of my active adwords accounts I just want to show you a tool, keyword tool. Uh, okay. Anyways, this is I'm able to log in. So AdWords is something like Google Analytics. You use a Google Gmail, Gmail ID. See, this is my Gmail ID only. So don't bother. This is all about running ads, Google ads. So that anyways, we will touch slightly little upon later. So under in Google ads, there is a nice tool called a keyword planner. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. See? Okay. So once you do an AdWord account, right? So basically, this will help in your uh, trying to get this SEO keywords.
so here i can either discover new keywords or get search i mean you can go for each so whatever so they have suggested meal deal okay so i will go for that same client of mine so drive safe training sir dot so i am sir is into software training okay so here it will show monthly search volume of each keyword like for example the software training keyword up to up to 10000 search volumes are coming so that is definitely a good keyword right software courses again up to 10000 training software 100 to 1000 not that good so course software software training courses so people are not searching for this keyword so much right so you don't need to optimize it for this software training courses you don't need to use you can use software training software courses and maybe but training software not required actually 1 to 10k is what you should kind of uh, look for right and uh, there is another option right so get search volume and forecast right so here you put uh, any uh, keyword training see this specific keywords you will know up to million see this many but yeah this is very niche i mean these are very general keywords but these are some keywords that you can definitely make use of okay uh, where is that oh, okay so i mean there are i mean again again there are uh, other uh, keyword uh, planning tools on google you can find out several are there so basically come up with some kind of keywords and start using that to create your uh, on page basically you have to have content across the website so the main most important is the title and tags okay and then you fixing those uh, all whatever are there in the audit right so you you start fixing it bulk of it the most issue would be uh having the titles and description titles and tags will be the most driven because you need in the end results right whatever how much ever you do site so type ibm gtr my company should come if i try uh, ibm sp whichever if someone is trying looking for that right so this should come okay so this comes mainly from your uh, title and Uh, page description that is the number one most important thing okay analytics uh, setting up analytics and uh, fixing image uh, image alts and all that stuff uh, reducing the speed so all that kind of uh, helps the uh, helps it to be much more better okay but most important is title descriptions and of course setting up this uh, analytics code so i uh, uh, like uh, here uh, not sure if i can attach oh some questions are there need to do this again after a few days okay yeah recording is going on so couple of questions see once everything is fixed it stays the same unless uh, some new pages new sections are added okay so that way we should uh, keep track so if any new pages or new content or new functionalities are added then it will keep change so once it is fixed it is more or less fixed so so yeah so when it comes to high volume keywords so those have competition right so what do you do for example uh, most of the people here same the example i will take so this example what happened is so ibm training for example compared to ibm gtr ibm training if i type amstar won't come at least not in the first few links 
right so that is why uh, maybe i will even answer india training i will try right we used to come uh, some sixth or seventh pages where so yeah so here what that is why as you asked right so you asked right so uh, high volume keywords ibm training is a high volume keyword okay so to escape that we have optimized ibm gtr so if someone is specifically looking for ibm gtr courses then we will rank so rather than competing for ibm training you compete for key very specific keywords that way you are not uh, competing with the high volume keywords because it's a just waste of time because for us to for anyone to come for a generic keyword it will take a lot of time because of various factors like uh, uh, age of the domain matters and uh, kind of content and how many blogs that we are putting all that will kind of matter okay uh, good websites uh, for keyword i mean uh, i use analytics only but uh, i'm sure uh, there are several like uh, i don't know acm rush is there and neil patel he has some nice tool i mean that uh, uh, neil patel uh, keyword keyword planner i think i don't know i don't remember but i usually use uh, okay uh, uber suggest correct that is the one okay Uber suggest is uh, you can try that out, okay. So you can try Uber suggest that also gives you a site on it and uh, keyword suggestions. So uh, nothing specific because uh, for keywords I usually use only Google because uh, yeah Uber suggest you type auto suggest H href yeah H is also popular one, but uh, we need to. rank in google right so that is why most of the time i use the google keyword planner tool only so that uh, uh, it's much more accurate so so that is where and i compare every uh, well, it's better to compare with uh, use the google planner keyword planner to get it and then uh, that's because that will be more accurate that's the answer i would like to give okay so for keyword density is uh, aim for uh, different search strings right so like if some company is looking for uh, uh, rather than going for a high volume standard keyword you can type a software training in bangalore for example rather than software training in india right or as i have given here the example rather than ibm training uh, they should aim for uh, uh, optimizing the ibm gtr gtr courses for or gtr training so uh, i see ibm gtr courses so if anyone is specifically looking at ibm gtr means guaranteed to run so ready ready made ready made courses so if someone specifically looking for that so this guy will compete for that that key that keyword could be optimized so that's the thing so that way i mean of course generic keywords you can always keep using put it on your website but over a period of uh, someone's mic is mute unmuted no need to buy keywords uh, shabanti so uh, do we have to buy keywords to use on our website no need so but but in running ads right so when you are running ads then you will have to uh, it comes under bidding so to kind of uh, use a specific keyword or uh, something so because i have just uh, right uh, here itself um, one second when you have asked it that by thing right so if i go to keyword planner discover keywords or whatever mm. i don't i am see just ibm i put so for your question right so you have something when you are running ads right this is the pricing that google will give you right so if you have ad has to come to top of the page someone types ibm then you have to bid 
420 rupees this is per click so but that applies to only ads so when you are doing the analytics uh, then uh, that's fine yeah google analytics can be used for all kinds of sites as long as they are a pure to me not a blog or a dot wordpress.com or dot blogspot or something they will have their own analytics anyway anyways so google analytics works for all kinds of websites yes i mean again there are different kinds of websites so if someone is doing a website uh, there should uh, be they should have multiple pages it's not a single page you you will see single page websites right and so that's not uh, uh, good when it comes to seo so each section each page each section should have a separate page so that way there's something called a parallax uh, themes so where uh, you have the single page websites so those won't to get optimized better so if a website has multiple pages that is good uh so uh, yeah and one uh, one quick thing like even when it comes to a cms based websites we have cms based and html based websites cms based websites are basically built on wordpress so like amstar i mean this side this 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 website is done built on wordpress and some some sites are just built on uh, uh, html so just i'll just give you one quick tool called build with it's a website basically you can know what technology or what backend any website is using right so me again i'm just typing this site or i will type a website called some e-commerce so let's go there and uh, go to builtwith.com it basically shows what your site is built with so that's the idea so it will show uh, but this is some one more tool just to kind of along with audit right site audit does a, a seo audit whereas this will do your technology audit so you are using uh, site weight good analytics is set up site tags is done they use facebook pixel conversion track wp is wordpress okay so they are using wordpress plugins so basically this will give you a tech uh, audit of the site so what are the uh, back end uh, tech that is being used it's a shopping e-commerce site so they are using woocommerce and the cms so cms content management is a i mean wordpress is a content management system so basically these two i mean this also you can use to just get a tech audit i mean uh, just i mean before you talk to someone it's always better to know what their site is built on and what their back end is just to show that you are you know that you have done some research okay for that purpose this will be uh, this uh, built with to build with a site will be good and seo site checker there are a uh, few other also seo site tool what a few i mean you just, you just google you will find several okay mm -hmm. so yeah i think uh, i think i think more or less i have covered i mean uh, seo mm -hmm. itself is very huge there are several uh, on page itself is yes, too, you are too extensive because uh, we have several various other things like uh, fixing headings having a site map but those all uh, come for much bigger and detailed websites so uh, i mean uh, i mean main thing is having this title descriptions and uh, content on the site and stuff and of course the second part is the off page seo which i will be touching upon tomorrow okay so same tomorrow also i will show you uh, direct live examples of how to do off page submitting uh, to directories how to do commenting right and how to do a press release 
so all those off page activities i'll be showing it okay so that's about it so for today so if you have any questions you can just type me type here or or on our uh, whatsapp group okay so this uh, analytics uh, how to create analytics right the document i will probably will drop in the uh, our whatsapp group itself okay so all right guys so uh, yeah sure correct difference between social media marketing and digital marketing okay social media marketing is part of digital marketing basically okay so uh so i mean that's the answer so social media marketing is part of digital marketing so under digital marketing you get this seo running ad campaigns social media and all that stuff it may it also plays a very big role but then again so does seo right both go hand in hand email marketing okay so okay so uh, email marketing is uh, actually technically better than digital marketing by the way so it also comes under digital marketing but with email marketing you have your own captive uh, database so for digital marketing you are uh, for uh, digital or social you are social media marketing especially you are dependent on third party platforms facebook instagram all are third party but email marketing it is your list list of emails and uh, the clients are i mean whoever you are emailing the database is owned by you so that way it is your own captive database so yeah i mean email marketing also i will explain maybe i will touch upon a little bit once the social media part is done as to uh, how to do email marketing and uh, how to reach out to customers and stuff so how many customer keywords should a website use to good day get a good amount of traffic see any website especially if it is not e-commerce you won't require so many keywords okay so rather than the question of uh, how many keywords should a website use each section each page should have a relevant set of keywords maybe up to maybe five enough more than that how many how many do we need right even if it comes to e-commerce if someone is selling shoes so on this particular shoe page they will have only you know five to ten at the max so for a basic website uh, for a startup company or something five keywords is good enough but uh, it should be across the website not uh, just one just the whole website same keywords you cannot use across the website so every page should have its particular keywords right so about five keywords so uh, for example uh, same client right so if it is ibm uh, guaranteed to run courses so how many keywords they can have right ibm gtr they can have and ibm courses is one for keyword they can have and ibm guaranteed to run if you use irrelevant keywords google will start blacklisting so it has to be relevant to that particular page okay any other questions yeah so see uh, can you give me a website just type a website i'll quickly show you how how to come up with some titles and descriptions because this uh, sites i have already done right any website or any project that you have or let me show you how i have done for this okay let me just quickly close me i don't know uh i what company should i take up i'm 
just going to some kind of a some any website I don't know. I thought I'm just taking one website. So wings to I. Okay. Or why I will just take that hamster website only. Okay, so they are into IBM training, right? So first step what I will do. I'll go to Google and try IBM training. So these guys are in India, so I will type IBM training of India. Okay. So first what I will do, what are the top sites that are coming up okay just for this keyword what is coming up this guy is coming up prism technologies coursera leave it so they are doing multiple they are not my direct competitor so this company is coming best in class ibm training so three i mean you can take up to five what i will do i'll go here okay I'll view their page source. I'm talking about competitors. What did they use to come to page one? Correct. So I go there. I copy their description type description. Let me paste it somewhere. Okay. So they have used this description. To come to page one okay it is proven right similarly what did these guys do to come on page one i will view their page source copy his description basically you are uh, checking out your competition what they are using to come on page one and then reworking it's not copy paste by the way so you can't just use it simply because you won't come because they are already coming with their description so same description if you copy paste you will not come so what i'm doing is all the top three i'm taking okay so i have the top three descriptions now i will mix and match okay so so i will okay this guy is saying i been training in mumbai pune blah 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 so i'll just try talk i'll just take by the way i'm just typing here title should have to 60 characters the description should have to 160 characters only you should not go more than that okay uh, keep it note so ibm training in india I don't want to use uh, Chennai, blah, blah, blah. The first one, I've taken it off. I don't want it. So learn mainframe, mainframe admin web sphere, et cetera, et cetera. Best training certification in Chennai. Okay. So here, basically you have to read and see what kind of keywords will help you out. So I'm using learn and IBM training certification they have used. So, I mean, you just need to rework and get IBM certified. I, I'm not done, okay? I'm just taking the points from there. So, let me remove it. Build IBM skills with blah, 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 IBM Pro courses. So, here he is talking about skills right so 
So now, these three I will mix and create a description. So I will go for and start. This, uh, this is not, uh, I mean, this anyways, you have to send it to the client to approve it, okay? Uh, usually, that's how it works. Develop your IBM skills. Learn and get certified tool. So, I mean, see, all those I have used and I have come up with this. Okay? So, I have used IBM training, IBM skills, IBM certified. And I have used IBM, the keyword. So, so this is how you will come up with a description. Okay. Top five or top three or top five competitor websites you go for. Take the red, uh, description that they have given and then use them. Mix and match. Mix and match. Send it to the client and they will approve it. Then that goes on to the website. So, one thing you have to notice, uh, this is the character limit. So you should not go more than that. For that, you have something called a word counter, word counter dot net. I mean, that's one page. So this description is there, right? I just type it here. So it shows 120 characters. So I'm safe. I mean, I can push it to 160, 171, up to 160 we can do. So I can add quality IBM training, like, right? So various, whatever IBM uh, training that they are offering, WebSphere, uh, uh, whichever, GP, uh, SPVC. Arjagate, you can add IBM. Across India. So 156, I have 14 more. So 14, four more, that's it. So that leave it. Okay, so now I have my description ready. Okay. So, same thing, title, what did these guys use to come on page one? See, my cursor, IBM training, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Chennai, India. All that not required. IBM training, India. Okay, that is one, you, you know that's what they have used. You take up IBM training, India. This guy put IBM training in Chennai. India is fine. Best in class IBM training courses. So everywhere IBM training and the locations. But the most uh, add-on will be IBM training courses. So I'll use the company name as well. IBM training courses in India. So I have mixed and matched everything. So I have 38 characters. Up to 60 characters I have eliminated. So, I don't know. I will put the full company in. So, this becomes my title. Right? So, basically, you have to compare with the top coming sites and then use your relevant keyword. Okay? It varies from different, different company to different. If someone is into digital marketing, for example. Okay? So, anyone... Uh, so fluid scapes, I don't know. Okay. Ads are not coming. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So whatever manifest, Joby here. So there are quite a few that are coming up. So the same thing. You just go and of course this guy, this person's blog article is what has come up. So that is one. That is one interesting thing, right? So. Blogs usually tend to come. That comes under, it's a mix of social media and SEO. Okay. So that's how, that's how you do that. Any other questions? No. 
questions, then we can wrap up. Okay. Okay. So I will uh, sign off then. So tomorrow we will uh, connect on uh, off page SEO. Remember that these are all basics. I mean, see what I am telling you guys are very, very high level basic stuff just to get into a job. Okay. So detail mein jana hai toh, if you want to get into more details and stuff, then on the job you will get to know more. Okay. So because a little bit of technical stuff also is required. Okay. okay then thank you guys okay right then